Good morning. Did Jesus at first fail when he tried to do a miracle to restore sight to a blind man? Today we're in Mark 8, verses 22 through 26. Then he came to Bethsaida, and they brought a blind man to him and begged him to touch him. So he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the town. And when he had spit on his eyes and put his hands on him, he asked him if he saw anything. And he looked up and said, I see men like trees walking. Then he put his hands on his eyes again and made him look up. And he was restored and saw everyone clearly. Then he sent him away to his house, saying, Neither go into the town nor tell anyone in the town. This, uh, first of all, this is, this is unique in the four Gospels. This is the one occasion out of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. This is the one story, the one place where Jesus does a miracle and sort of does it in two phases for somebody. So why isn't he successful on his first try? Well, with Jesus, there is no first try. There's no trying. He, he has the power of God when he calls for it, when he, when he wants it. God the Father gives it to him. He's laid aside his own powers, but God the Father's power is always available. So there's, there's no lack of power on his part. But you know what always happens is here we're interacting with people and there's an issue of, of the will of the person that is being healed. Many times, you know, Jesus said, as your faith is, so be it done unto you. Things like that, Jesus says. Here's a guy, they, they, they found him on the street and they grabbed him and they brought him to Jesus. It seems like uh, this person maybe wasn't quite as engaged as he could have been. But they bring him to Jesus. And then we have this other piece that very few people say anything about. They, Jesus takes him by the hand and he leads him out of town. It's like the people were standing around waiting for Jesus to do a miracle. And Jesus says, hey, it's not happening right now. And he takes the guy and they walk out of town al alone and leave those people behind. Very interesting uh, sequence. I think we can be sure of this, that when Jesus leads this man apart from the other people to do the miracle for him, it's for somebody's good. It's for either this man's good or for the people who, for some reason, uh, Jesus didn't want to see this, them to see this happen. When Jesus does something, he always does it with the good of others in mind. Jesus takes them aside because he, he needs to become more engaged, more directly engaged with Jesus. Many times, you know, we need more connection with the fellow believers in Jesus. But there are times when sometimes we might rely too much on the faith of others. We need a personal connection with God. We need a personal experience with Him. Nothing can supply that. Nothing can replace that. We need to have a direct connection with Jesus. And so Jesus takes this man aside, and then he asks him this this question, what do you see? And he says, I see men like trees walking. Apparently they were out of the city and looking across the way or down off the hilltop toward the city. But he could see they were still a little bit fuzzy, didn't see it with clarity. So Jesus went ahead and took him another little bit further, and, and then he said, then he saw clearly after that. This reminds me of this case back in 1 Kings 13 where the prophet Elisha is with Joash, and he's encouraging Joash to exercise faith, and he says, take these arrows and strike them to the ground. And Joash takes the arrows, and he just sort of, in a very wimpy way, he just pops them on the ground a couple times. And, and Elisha says, oh, you, you've made a mistake. If you would have been vigorous about it, we would have, God would have done a, a bigger miracle for you. But no, you have, uh, you're not going to get a very big miracle out of this. You're just going to get a few victories. And so here was a case where Joash didn't really, he wasn't really into it. He didn't really become engaged and exercise faith like he should have. And this, this, this man that they find, this blind man, he needed to exercise more faith. So I think Jesus is, is trying to draw him out and get him to exercise more faith and be more engaged. It's, you can't have faith through other people. Other people can help build your faith and strengthen your faith. But you have to have a personal walk with Jesus. That's what Jesus is encouraging here. Dear Father in heaven, we need a personal connection with you. Sometimes we've taken our faith lightly. We've been superficial. We haven't been very engaged. We're just sort of partly in the game. Please, Lord, help us to be all for you, all in, all in for you. You died on the cross for us. That's, that's pretty all-encompassing. God has power to help us see clearly. But many times our own slowness keeps us from really having the full benefit of our walk with Jesus. May you have that full benefit today.